As requested by Pen India Fan, we're giving him one idea that could work as two for SL Creations. Let's jump in on Canva and do this. Go to canva.com and open any canvas you want to use. And then just for this design, I want to make the background dark, but you can have it any way that you want. So we are creating an SL Creations logo. You're going to press T for text or add text. Then you're going to search for a font called Nove, and you're going to use that as the inspiration for the design. And we change the S or we change the text and we make it S. And the size of your S and the L, we're going to make it 200. And you're going to duplicate that and you have your L, capital letter L. And you bring that just a little bit below. Why does this look like a small letter L? There we go. Capital letter S and L. Next, we're going to change the color, and I don't know the dude's color. He just said, dude, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> anyway, the S and the L we're gonna leave as gold, and we're gonna duplicate the L, and we're gonna make this a small letter L, so that we have like a, an I. Then we're going to align that on our design. So let's quickly bring the designs to the middle, and you're going to very nicely align that to the S. And we can just reduce it a little bit to a smaller size. And then make sure that all of your lines are perfectly aligned. You do not want sloppy looking work. Then you're going to duplicate this shape and or this letter and bring it to the bottom of the L. Also align it so that it's perfect and group everything. Just want to create a little bit of space between the S and the L. Next, you're going to press L for line and we want to make this line gold as well. We want the line to be over there. So, but we want it to be the exact size of our L. Therefore, I'm just gonna reduce this line and then go to our line styles and increase the weight. So how do I know that the weight is exactly the same? I'll just duplicate this, add it on there, maybe change the color to a different color so that I can see what I'm doing, and then add the eye, and I can see that the two are the same size, maybe 30. Therefore, we throw away the eye, we change this color and we make it gold. Now that we're happy with the sizing, we're gonna rotate the line to 180 degrees. We're going to add it to our design and we also align it so that it is spot on like that. Our design is inspired by a hexagon. So I'm just going to move everything to the side, duplicate the line and bring it to the bottom of the page and then add it to our L. Make sure that it's also perfectly aligned. And then I'm going to grab a hexagon. Hexagon is this shape. And I'm going to just put it on the side so that it inspires me and helps me along with my design. I'm not going to use it at all. Next, I'm going to duplicate this shape and I'm going to rotate and I'm going to add it to our design. And I want to zoom in and make sure that it is perfectly aligned. I used to have a, a manager who used to make sure that I make my design aligned. He used to drill it in me. So I know alignment is very important. So then we will grab the line. If we zoom in, we can always control it better. Then I'll just move it and bring it to almost the middle of the page. Middle of the page, pink line. Then I'm gonna duplicate the shape, rotate it. Don't speak quietly, opinions violently. Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous. It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning. Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing. All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man. 
to have the rounded shapes instead of the edged shapes you just select the shape itself and then you go to your line styles and then you make your rounded points around that way it will come out round like this and not edgy once i've constructed my design and i'm happy with that last step i will add text i'm still going to use no i'm gonna make the text 50 and then i'm gonna type the beginning of the name and then i'm gonna use my letter spacing and increase the spacing appropriately so that it gets to this line so i'm just going to increase it again adjust your line spacing and leave a little bit of space for the a over there and then duplicate that rotate 90 degrees and then add asian and then adjust your letter spacing and there you go simple minimalistic but gorgeous beautiful architectural logo that you could create i want to see how it's going to look like if we make this box shape like i think that idea would be much better so i'm going to just duplicate the design and then i'm going to delete delete the one and grab the other and create a box shape like and then make sure that you align it quite nicely i actually like this design more let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite i like this one better than the hexagon shape but you're gonna follow the same process of downloading the 2d by selecting download and using your transparent background and picking the second option and if you don't have transparent background you're more than welcome to try it for 30 days using my link below and then you jump in on photo p and you convert it to 3d so because i love my 3d so much i'm just going to jump, jump in on photo p and i'm going to use this mock-up i'll click on the link and open it up and then add the design there once you have it open you're going to double click where it says your logo here and you're going to hide the design as example then you're going to go to your downloads and add your own design make it nice and big you're going to press command s or control s to change it to smart object and then you click on the first tab and your gorgeous beautiful architectural design is done i love it bro i think you like it too let me know in the comments below if this has inspired you i am so inspired watch more logos that are structural and architectural and use shapes on our playlist i will see you on the next video yeah.